Let's set up 3ds Max to render a still image. We need to first open a file. Click on the Application button. Open. Navigate to the Chapter 6 subdirectory in our Scenes directory. And open the file called Chapter 6 Facade01.max. This is the scene file that refers to panel 2 of our storyboard. We want to show the client the front of the building. They want to get a good feel for what it's going to look like as we approach the building from close up. We're going to go ahead and render the camera viewport. For this process, instead of just clicking on the Render button in the main toolbar, we're going to go to the Render Setup dialog. So click the Render Setup button on the main toolbar to open the Render Setup dialog. In the Render Setup dialog, click on the Common tab. Here's where we set our time output to single. We only want to render a single still image. The area we want to render is the entire view, and we have the camera view active, so we'll render the entire camera view. You can also see that the view is the camera one view down at the bottom of the render setup dialog in the view dropdown list. If you want to change the view, you can click on the down arrow, open up the dropdown list, and change the view you want to render. We're not going to change anything right now, so just leave it on camera one. The output size area is the area that we'll focus on to adjust the resolution of our rendered image. By default, it is set to 640 pixels in width by 480 pixels in height. If we look to the right of the output size area, we have some presets that allow us to choose from several different image sizes. If we click on the 320 by 240 option, this might be a resolution that we want to render to for scenes that are going to be viewed on cell phones, or will be small images placed on web pages as thumbnails for links to larger images. This is the custom output option. It allows us to set any size resolution that we need to render to. In the drop down list under the output size, most of these presets are for either animation resolution or if you're going to film or video formats. That isn't to say we can't render one of these resolutions for a still image. These are just standard film and video resolutions. We do have several slide formats because it's possible to print an image to a film slide or negative and using one of these presets can just make life a little bit easier when you're doing that. Down at the bottom of the list is where the HDTV video resolution can be chosen. Again, because of the proliferation of HDTV in both industrial use and home use, I would recommend looking into this format even as a still image format. Keep in mind that HDTV is the format of the video and not the specific pixel resolution of the video. If we look at our current height and width settings, they're currently set to what is known as 1080p, a resolution which corresponds to the size of 1920 by 1080 in pixels. It's because of the fact that many computer monitors and flat screen televisions are coming out with the ability to display this resolution that you may be able to use this as a still image output resolution. So we have our resolution set, but for our purposes and to render a test size image, let's choose the 320 by 180 image size from the resolution presets button. This could also be a resolution that you may be able to use if you're building web pages for mobile devices.